Hi everyone, so this is the first lesson, first vid of the A2 first differentiation pack. You'll be glad to know there's loads of differentiation and integration in the second year. So let's get started with it now. Uh, kind of historically, we do all this stuff and, uh, and people forget by the summer, but I know you lot will be different. So this stuff's going to be lesson one. Um, Chain rule, probably lesson two, maybe product rule lesson two. Uh, oh, we could do it later, but we'll see. We'll see how we do it anyway. Right then, so we've got a few basic ones that we've already done. Uh, I'm going to slightly change the formulas here. You've got to remember with E that you differentiate the power and put it at the front. Now my issue is if we add e to the sine x, that formula doesn't work. But if I had e to the f of x, when I differentiate it, dy by dx becomes f dash of x e to the f of x. And that's a better formula to remember, that you differentiate the power and put it from. Now we're actually doing something called chain rule with that, which we'll do in lesson two. So with this one, instead of log of kx to give k over kx, I see it as log of f of x, and that gives me dy by dx, is differentiate the bracket over the bracket. So we've done that before, haven't we? I guess if I put it in the same place, it should be the top. So the differentiate bracket divided by the bracket. And then we've got this A1, which is proper random, um, where you differentiate the power still. So I differentiate the power. And put that from. Do you know what I can't write? Does that look like differentiate power? That looks like pattern from. Look, I'll we'll rewrite that. It's like the same words, or if you've already written it, don't screw it out. It's just so it looks okay. So I do that, so that's the k bit, the equivalent. But then I have to do log of the base. And that's a bit weird. That one. That's like a new one to the thing. So if I have y equals a. So the f of x, when I differentiate it, instead of k, I've got f dash of x, log of the base, times the original function there. It's kind of like the e one, where you've got like a sneaky e of ln in the middle. Well, anyway, that's me wittering too much. Right, so really quickly then, uh, differentiate the power, stick it up front. So that's four lots of e to the 4x. One for you to do. Um, this one, I'm trying to confuse you a little bit. It's 4e to the minus 2x first. So I put it in an index notation. So then I'm going to differentiate it. Differentiate the minus 2x as a minus 2. So I get four, well, I get 4 times minus 2. So I've got minus 8 e to the minus 2x. One for you, similar idea. There. That's a 3x out, not 2x. <coughs> 3 times ln of x, so dy by dx is 3 times by, so I differentiate that bracket into 1 over the bracket is an x. So I've got 3 over x. Same here with this one. I'm sure, I should have a 5 over x. Yeah. Uh, we've got that as a 3 over x. So there's no confusion. Just put the icon on. Freezing now. Switch off. <clears throat> so log of 5x. So dy by dx. So differentiate the 5x is a 5. Over the bracket is a 5x. So that's 1 over x. I don't like doing these because. If you have log of 5x plus 2, it becomes 5 over 5x plus 2, which doesn't cancel down. 
So you've got to be careful with that one. You don't always cancel down. This is like a, a basic starting point for this. So this one, the next one, put the 3 down because it's just a multiplying factor, like the 3 was in C. Then differentiate the bracket is a 7. Over the bracket is a 7x. The 7s cancel, and I've just got 3 over x. So this one will be a similar idea. Look, so we'll just put it straight away. 5 over x. But really, it's like 5 times by 3 over 3x. Three and the 3s cancel. Uh, let's have this one then. So we've got so dy by dx. So differentiate the bracket is 6x squared over the 2x cubed. So that's going to cancel down then as, let's have a look what we've got, 3 over x. Interestingly, the pack does it a slightly different way. It splits it up as two separate logs and then differentiates it separately. But it just overcomplicates. So let's see if they've done it the same way. Yeah. <clears throat> so I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother doing that. I would just say differentiate the bracket is 5x to the 4 over the bracket, which is x to the 5. So that leaves me the 5 over x. Now it works, but it kind of doesn't help you with it. How I want this to be honest. Right, so this is the one where it's not a, a G, it's another like two. So I have to differentiate the bracket is a five. It's base two, because it's two to the power of. So I've got log two, and then it's times by the original function. Now you can't combine these twos or anything like that. You can't combine them together. So I'm going to put this one does. So have a go at this one and then I'll look at the answers. Um, uh, yeah. And then for this last one, the 3 is a multiplying factor. And then I've got to look at that bit. So differentiate the power, which is an x, so that's 1. Log of the base is a log 2. And then 2 to the power of x. So what I've really got then is 3 ln 2 times 2 to the power of x. So look at that. Yeah, 5 ln 3 times 3 to the power of x. So that's all that first page done. Hopefully you're okay with it. I'm going to stop it there and do another um, thing for the next page. Okay, bye bye.